um, she yeah. actually trialled on the soft track pretty good the other day, so yeah. Um, she'll go up Thursday morning. Yeah, at this stage she'll go to Alice Lee on, I think it's Queen's Birthday weekend. Yeah. Um, for about 85, 1200 up there. I talked to Michael after she trialled. She said, when she was fresh, she said 1200 things were really suited. Think you've got the sand in there. Um, well, that's the other issue, is just working on the sand tracks for the feet. Yeah. Um, it's the hardest thing through the winter. But when they're up and racing, they're fit and it becomes a bit easier because um, you don't need to do as much work on the on the tracks anyway. She's got over the last little issue. Yep, no, mm -hmm. we've fixed all that up. She's moving well, so she'll go up Thursday morning and head to, to where we'll see. I think it's on Queen's birthday weekend. Yeah. So that's about 25 to We'll keep the fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, that race in Christchurch, you know, we were sort of, we had that sort of ticked last year. It didn't work, it rained, it was so wet. Yeah. Was sort of like, yeah, but you never know. Copeland's mile, well, it's always a hard one down there at that time of the year. It's now and then you'll get it right, it can either be rock hard. Yeah. Um, down there in November or obviously wet as well. So. Yeah, good race though. It's a lovely race, yeah. yeah. No, it's a good race. So. Yeah, look, if, um, it'd be nice if she could um, just have two or three runs of sprint, get another one on the board to get her, get her rating up, and then yeah. you know, we're in a position where you can target some of those better races in, in, the, in the spring and, and going through into the early summer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so Tony, you've um, I've always felt that she's a quite handy mare, but and maybe this coming year could be, hopefully with a bit of luck, might be lucrative for her. Yeah, look, exactly. Obviously, she had that really good preparation last last season, which probably a, the last preparation was probably a touch disappointing at times. But um, she's definitely got the ability. I think as she gets older, she should. Yeah, you know, she's she's still not a big robust mare, and as she gets older, she should just continue to improve. Mm. Yeah. Um, Tony, we've got um, Liz and I are totally committed to going through with you. Know, we, we're loving the whole experience yep. of Sky Weaker and we know the ups and downs of the game. But um, a, a few, there's a couple of syndicate members who are humming and hurrying about whether they want to stay in there. And um, I just wondered what your um, comments, I mean, it, it's, it's fine with us whether they stay in or go, mm -hmm. but what your comments would be to them, you know, is, do you think they, there's a good reason for them to stay in? We think there is, but what as, as the trainer, what would your...? Yeah, I think um, you know, she's definitely at this point in time. <clears throat> she's a filly you wouldn't get, or a man you wouldn't get out of. Um, it's pretty hard to find those mares that are um, sort of up to open class. Um, you know, if you can go through quite a few horses to find one as good as her. Mm. Um, and look, she's going to, um, you know, whether she you know, goes right through to the top company, she's still going to win a lot of races in between times. So. Um, you know, she's a mare that you can have a lot of fun with, you know, she can gallop and, you know, it's, it's one of those horses that, uh, yeah, at this point in time, you'd, um, you know, you wouldn't be getting out of. Mm. Mm. Okay, thank you for that. That's good, and uh, more worker, well, she seems to have a lot of jam foot and maybe can handle a track that's got a bit of um, moisture in it. Yeah, look, she has, obviously, when she ran second last start, um, she might have just tied up the ground late. Um, she looks sort of home with her race to go, I thought she was... She was going to win that. Um, she obviously does get through slightly rain affected tracks. Probably the biggest thing with her is, you know, she's um, going to be a lot better once she matures a bit further. Sure. Um, just whether, you know, how much it takes out of her running on heavy, heavy tracks. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, you know, she's she's uh, you know, not a big robust filly, and I think she will appreciate better tracks. And uh, although she handles them, it's just how much it takes out of her in the process. But it um, might be worth looking at. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, we'll try and uh, yeah. She she's almost race fit now. We'll, we'll find a nice race for her in the next two or three weeks. Um, I did find a plate trolling yesterday at Talpo, but um, she pulled up pretty clean from a gallop on Saturday morning, and uh, she's not far away from being race fit. So for the trip down there and trial, she didn't really need it. We'll just use that to um, yeah, yeah. We'll just head straight to the races sometime in the next two to three weeks. When you know we find a track um, that's that's reasonable, I wouldn't want to run a fresh up on a heavy, very heavy mm -hmm. track. But uh, um, obviously. Um, you know, the weather looks reasonably settled for the next week or two, so we'll just pick and choose so where we go. And obviously, she will handle a slow track, and we'll just take it from there. Great, and um, <coughs> it's good, Tony. That's an excellent report. And uh, no, look, when we saw her yesterday, she looked very well, and um, she looks um, like she wouldn't take a lot of training. She certainly. No, she's looks, um, um, obviously a yeah. filly we don't do much with. Um, yeah. She doesn't take a lot to get fit, so um, it's just really keeping the condition on her and doing um, you know, as little as possible and just getting a wind ride in between times. And um, uh, at this stage of proceedings with the young one, she, um, what, what would be your impressions? Yeah, well, she weekend. reminds me very much of more wicker, um, just with her action and the type shoes, she's probably slightly stronger. Um, she still wants to do things in a little bit too much of a hurry from time to time. She thinks she knows best. Yeah, just, she just would think she knows a little bit better than everybody else. So, uh, 
yeah, a lot of it's just experience with her. She's got lovely action. She, she's got plenty of abilities. That's just educating her at this point in time. So, um, yeah, I would like to do another barrier trial into her for education um, in four parts time, and then obviously we'll just assess yeah, what the track conditions are like and how she handles the track in, in that barrier trial, whether we can press onto her races preparation or whether we're better off giving her a break yeah. and bring her back in the spring. Oh, very good. Well, I think that's excellent report, Northrop. I think that's great. And thanks Tony, great. thanks so much for everything.